remember if I want to introduce water, remember this is some kind of materials about the concrete and the exposure place, it's depending on the normative and the designation, which which is some kind of the standard that you can figure it out later. About the general data, um, the ground, you have the subgrade models, it's really important. The base allow bearing pressure also, and the soil foundation friction coefficients. Those uh, data are coming from the lab, so don't worry about it. About the width, but I, would, I have some help here. Clicking in this arrow, we can displace information regarding to the appro uh, appearance. If F means the internal friction angle, and these are going to be the cohesion. Okay, so depending on the soils, the, those values are going to change. But remember. And the original data are coming from the lab. Okay, so um, about the, remember I was telling you about the hydraulic uh, surcharge, surcharge. So by default it's getting two meters and about the reinforcement concrete parameters, but we have some uh, covers uh, about the external, internal and maximum ground site of the grain site of the concrete or the material that we're going to use over there. So I wanna continue. Is, is, is this software, you know, the interface is, is, is a really straightforward. We can start from the left up to the end. So uh, the options, uh, well, this is something that I, I will change here or may uh, take in consideration is the maximum compliance percentage for slabs which by default is 100%, but we must take maybe maybe 90. The maximum compliance in percentage in walls, maybe we can take also 90, you see? And the other ones are going to be straight. So continue. And also um, the reinforcement tables. This kind of tables, if you are not sure what you are doing, please don't change it. Or maybe you have to make sure that those kind of reinforcements in your country are available. If it's not, you can unselect or unselect, okay? Um, then about the the view, is the way they are going to see it, all this kind of information I got regarding to the dimensions and straightforward about the load. And finally, the 3D view that I already showed you. About the plan, this is when we are going to start uh, a new job from scratch and elevations on by default we have these elevations we, which I don't have right now the the right information I didn't give the reference but at, at least it's giving you the high or even the slow from the road to the top of the of the of the slab of the bus culvert slab on top of that um, if I change, for example, by minus two, and then go back to the 3D view, look, I move far away because this is the another field, even field that we have to fill it. So I'm gonna close it, and then I'm going back to the edition. And I'm gonna change it by zero, okay, by zero. So just to make sure that you see now the the infield is getting lower. You can change uh, in, in the example. You can change the the slope. You can modify the slope in this way, lateral way. But in the longitudinal well, longitudinally, if you change this this slope, are going to change everything, even the wind walls on the boss culvert itself. If you have at the end of this boss culvert, you have a different slope on the road, you must do it on your own because this, these lateral walls are going to be straight. Um, let's see um, about the, limit, the, the geometry, you can select and modify those things. Suppose I need, uh, I'm going to use part of this load 
inside the, the bus culvert, I'm going to divide it one side for the people who are going to work. Uh, in one, one of the picture, I show you that. Um, increase those kind of um, walls. You can, um, what I'm adding right now is another wall inside. So I can describe even the separations, the distance between uh, who are going to, to be that. Accepted. Now we have it over here. And the last, lastly, the view give you exactly. Suppose I'm going to use this one to a free note for people and the other ones for cars or whatever. And then, uh, but the truck load, because I was using that normative, this is the load in the right side and the left side. So if I click one of them, I'm gonna display a little bit that we have different options here. It's like a people, um, you have this information also um, by manuals, uh, the, the normative, the standards, uh, there are people who are using the ASHTO code, which is, uh, you, you can recreate that also. You can start from, from scratch, for example, and say whatever the name you're going to use, add some kind of information regarding to the tires and the location of those tires. Um, this is the center, this, the point zero zero here. But from that point, if you, I show you details, look, I show you a detail about that. Any, any um, distance, any locations, give you exactly the distance between this point, zero point zero, because the reference points is, are here. From this side is negative, from this side is positive, from the top is positive, from the bottom negative. Okay, apart from that, make sure that your structure, or your um, automobile or your vehicle are going to have the same specification that uh, are in the manuals. Uh, okay, so another way to introduce uh, to, in, to import different uh, data, you can make sure that it's available. Uh, if you want to, you know, to see what is uh, what is all about it, just select all of them. Let me finish with all of them. Let me select. Uh, you know, so I'm going to select all of them. I have to do it man manually, but no problem about it. Okay, it's okay now. So now we can, now we have it here. Before I only have one option, now we have more than one. Remember, I'm gonna show you something different. Look, and if you add something more, more complex, uh maybe this is a special vehicle you see there are even a tractor even the something by euro code a simple see, uh, only one axis and so on so on you know this is a tractor it's a track sorry um that's all you see um so this is one, one side, one direction, now the other direction. Apart from that, uh, the, we have a street load, which uh, could be an extra load that you must introduce at cell, itself, yourself. And this in the corner, that's the value of that, in, that load. And the other side, not the corner, and in the middle. Yeah, it's an extra load. Could be, you don't know, maybe concrete or any other kind of materials, etc. So we are ready now to do the analysis. We can do the check first. So we have problems, you know, with double Colmer, and then I can do the designs. One of the models, yes, we have only one model. This is a design. This maybe if it's change the color means that we are not okay. But also the software allow you to do the entire design. With the entire designs, they're going to do the lateral walls and the box, the box culver itself. It's pretty straightforward. So we have 
I'm going to see what is the problem. So I can do it like that. I can just, there are more than 40 pages, 45 pages almost. So we can, you know, scroll down and try to look for the problems. Okay, now we have it. Once you detect that, you can make sure what is the problem. So this is the model. Uh, we have a mechanical slenderness. The maximum is 100 and calculate 102. Okay, we are pretty close, but you know, it's up to you guys. If you are in the near, if you want to modify this to, uh, to make it sure that everything is okay. You can come and verify, you know, then change it on the bottle. They give you a warning message, you know, that we have problems here. We can modify that very easy, okay? Now the software, you know, they did the best according to the the analysis that we already have. Uh, look, it changed automatically the the length, the and also it's so efficient uh, analysis because we don't need, you know, a very straight uh, wall up to here. We don't need that. They give you a very uh, safety analysis, no, very, what do you call it, efficient structure, All right? So when it's done, uh, we can go for the reinforcements. And um, I'll give you details about the entire structure. Inside, no? Look, look the kind of detail that we have. A very nice view, uh, even the range for mini sand inside, and the internal wall. And uh, if you want to go, if you want to change any kind of, you know, if you want to change the reinforcement, maybe you now I'm going to see maybe what's going to happen if I I make it 80, right? a, a, a value. You can make sure about the 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 check. So see, so we have problems here. So you can see you are increasing problems. So I think the best way is to do it by itself. So we can go on the bottom also. You can change everything. It was just one section. In one of the section they give you details about the reinforcements around, also about the initial win. Now, I'm gonna show you the initial one and the last one, the section number five. So we, you are going, you know, from the top, then less, 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 and less. It's like that, you know, uh, if you want to see just this part, click here. I know it's not available right now. So if you need uh, documentation, which is really important, uh, they have a, list of documents that you can display and present to any organization or maybe a customer. And if you want to see, for example, what happened here, click it and this you can see it right away. Also drawings, one of the coolest part of the software, accept it. And the results of those drawings I like that, look, it's so important. Um, on the right side, you have a very nice description, description, sorry, about the shape of those kind of reinforcement, the positions, etc., and so on, so on. So one of the sections, another table about the, the selection, and another details about the reinforcements and the winds, okay? So you know, even you can change that. You can you can customize your the, your drawings. You can export that to any any uh, for example DXF DWG files, also JPEG files. You know, you know clicking click, clicking here, you can store that anywhere. Uh, also, you can change you know modify the 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 way to present this because we have. Here, um, well, not here, I'll show you later. Over here, clicking in this, you have the codes 
important things that I forgot to tell you about the codes. You know, you have all those codes, Euro codes, and the British standard also. Um, Spain, Portugal, France, you know, America, India, and so on and so on. Um, on this this side also we have the detailing drawings. Uh, oh, no, sorry, uh, there's no detailing. It's uh, drawings, drawing selection. This is the place that I was telling you before that you can customize this, okay? Templates that you were are available for you. 